right, Matt, in our second fight of the night, UFC Norfolk coming at you from Norfolk, Virginia. Matt, this is a really fun fight because you got Spike Carlisle coming in on short notice, replacing Stephen Ocho Peterson. Ocho forced to withdraw out of this one in steps. The training labs, Carlisle, and he's going to be taking on a fellow UFC debutant in Elon Cruz. Make sure you check out JHK MMA of Kumite TV's oh, yeah. interview with Elon Cruz, a great one there. And from that, I learned a lot of different things. I mean, you might recognize Elon Cruz making his debut, the guy that had a crazy win over Stephen Wynn this past summer on Contender Series, fly knee knockout in the third round. Craziest part about it, we just watched the fight again. He didn't even use his hands to get it. He just tossed the knee up there through desperation and the fact that he was so tired in that third round. So much volume in that fight. Go back and watch and look at the striking numbers after the fact. But Elon Cruz, a great striker, a guy coming out of Tampa, Florida. And he's taken on Spike Carlisle. And this is a guy that has a black belt in judo, a brand, brown belt in uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But his striking's great. And he's one of those guys at 145 that was already thick. So I'll be interested to see how he comes in here at 155 on short notice. But it should be a great fight, Matt. I mean, what do you expect when you have two guys making their UFC debuts so like this? So for Spike, Kyle, Spike Carlisle, and you brought it up too, he's a really good grappler, but he does kind of fall in love with his hands sometimes. And he will play that game with you. He's and good at it, though. He is good at it. But if you're fighting out like a long cruise who is known for it and that's his bread and butter you're probably not gonna be able to beat him in that game so if i'm spike carlisle you definitely want to use your kind of bread and butter which is the judo and jiu-jitsu of course but if he does stay on the feet for any period of time he's going to be in danger but like you said even though that's not his main thing which is striking for spike carlisle he's still very very good at it so there's not really a big weakness to his game all that being said just the versatility of a long cruise's striking style he throws so many different kicks flying knees spinning back fist he can kind of do everything on the feet uh, I feel like it's going to be a really hard fight for Spike Carlisle if he can't get it to the grid. And realistically, you look over at the odds, and it's always tough, especially in a fight that it's it's two UFC debuts. You have Carlisle coming in on short notice, but Cruz a minus 170 favorite. Carlisle coming in plus 145. You look over in topology at a 492 votes. 63% going with Elon Cruz. 68% saying he's going to win by decision. Another interesting stat that you might want to uh, take, take the notes on. Cruz is coming in with a 7-inch reach advantage and 5 inches of height, which is typical of him coming in at 155 pounds. He's 6 feet tall and has 78 inch of 78-inch uh, reach, wild. which is crazy for the division. Really, really fun fight. Really good fight, Matt. What are you uh, What are you thinking here? I think a lot of Cruz is going to win it. Like I said, if Spike Carlisle cannot get the fight to the ground, he's basically going to get beat up for a lot of it. I do think just the range is going to be an issue. And especially if you're fighting a guy with a massive range advantage over you, it's going to be really hard to get to him in the first place to try to take him down. So I feel like a lot of Cruz is going to be able to kind of beat him up from the outside for the most part. And I mean, Spike Carlisle coming from a team like the Training Lab, you have a lot of good training partners oh, yeah. in that weight range. I mean, look, TJ Dillashaw, you've got Syed Awad, you've got Juan Archuleta. So there's a lot of great people to train with i'm gonna agree with you i'm gonna take Elon cruz here should be a great fight okay. i mean go back and watch that highlight reel knockout the spinning back fist of carlisle the flying knee of cruz and while you're watching those make sure you check out our ufc norfolk predictions okay. two minutes for the main card and the prelims make sure you check out the five minute main event prediction for benavidez and figueredo and matt good. as we always say with fight night picks let's get into it